Hi, welcome back to Realm Tale, and uh, as you can see by that short little bit of a time lapse to start the episode, which I rarely do, I was doing some fishing with my good old-fashioned fish, don't take the bait fishing rod. I was trying to get some Nautilus shells because I need them for today's episode. I'm sure you've read the title, and I need them to make a conduit. However, I barely have any Nautilus shells, so I need to fish to get some using a luck of the sea fishing rod here. I had no luck. I was fishing for about 10, 20 minutes, and I got one Nautilus shell that whole time. It wasn't working, and besides, Funi's online right now, and he says he has a deal for me, so I'm going to fly to spawn and crash into spawn and meet up with him because he has got a deal. Funi! Funi! Hi. Nautilus shells? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, this is perfect. All right, wait. Perfect, perfect, perfect. How much do I owe you, sir? How much... How much would you pay for these? Uh, mm. Here. He names a price. I name a price. I'm thinking, so he, how much does he have? He has eight. So I'm thinking like two, two to five diamonds. So we'll go, we'll go lowest because you know, that's how you market two, 16 diamonds, two of four for each shell. All right. Let's see. Let's see if he's going to take that. I feel like that's a good, uh, that might be a little low for him. He might want more, but I'm. All right, he's good. This is exactly why you start low, guys. Look at that. We're, we're, we're making it work over here. All right, 16 diamonds. All right. Sounds good to you. Of course it is good. Here you go, Mr. Fooney. Enjoy them. Look at that deal. That's how you do business on Realm Tale. Pleasure doing business with you. Pleasure doing business with you. What a good man, dude. Look at that. We got, we got the shells. All right, now we can make our conduit and start today's episode. All right, with that little bit of a business deal out of the way, a little bit of a weird way to start the episode, I normally never do something like that, but I'm going to use this conduit that I've just crafted using the Nautilus shells that I traded with Funi for, and I'm going to start making a little bit of an underground area. If you didn't know already, uh, Coden, this guy right here, has made Skelly Boys over here. This is the Skelly Boys, I don't know what he calls this, I'm pretty sure it's Skelly Boys Inc., and then there's Skelly Boys HQ, over at Funi's base, and this area is really cool. It houses all of my skeleton horses. You know, I have a couple skeleton horses actually on the thing itself. We have Bone Trussle, Bone Trussle, I, I yeah, Bone Trussle. We got Jimbo. A couple other guys are up on the floors, but you get the point. It stores all of my skeleton horses. However, there's a couple of them that are just like on the outside. There's just they're up here. I even have some more way up here in the base that actually spawn up on this outer ring that I've just kind of stored up here. You can actually see them right there. I just store them in random spots, and I don't think that's a good thing for them. They need more room to expand. We can't exactly go inside of the building, but we can go underwater. Skeleton horses can breathe very easily underwater. Obviously, I can't, which is why I got the conduit, but if I start maybe digging out underneath Skelly Boys, I can make an underground little bit of an underground kind of like stables, and I think it'd look really cool for the horses. So I'm going to start kind of making, setting up the conduit and digging out the area for Skelly Boys. So I'll get back when all of that is all finished up. All right, so I've done some work here, digging the hole, and as you can see, it's just, it's kind of blank, it's ugly, it's got sandstone, diorite, granite, that's not granite, that's dirt, all mixed in, there's some granite, all mixed in here, I don't like the way it really looks, so I want to fix up all these walls, and the way I do that, I actually have a kind of a block palette idea set up here, I want to make the walls all kind of bluish themed, kind of going with the blue theme of our base, kind of with the, the blue from the light gray terracotta, making that blue, so I'm going to use a mixture of sea lanterns, which I have a ton from doing the trade with Funi, and prismarine bricks from when I cleared out the guardian farm with Funi, so uh, Funi has come into play a lot for this project, so I'm going to use a lot of these kind of bluer blocks, not only to light up the walls, but to also make them look a little bit better. Then I want to use a kind of a mixture of bone blocks to actually make the stables themselves. So I'm going to get to work uh, making up all of these things, and I'll get back when all of them are kind of set up. All right, some more time has gone by, and as you can see, I just kind of made this area look a little bit nicer. I'm actually going to take some uh, ice here, turn this into actual ice, and just coat the top of this just like this and hopefully I can kind of break this make a ton of water sources and just kind of flood this area however I don't know why this isn't working why is this not working I worked that why can you not put ice on top of things just there we go maybe this is too close to a light source I could not tell you why it does not melt 
Anyways, I'm going to try and figure out this whole ice situation, and I'm just going to flood this whole room because I want this to be an underwater stable, not just a normal type of stable for these skeleton horses. Alright, as you can see, if these cod got out of the way, come on, get out of here. As you can see, the room is now fully kind of a water zone, so I can just swim around in here. I really like the way this turned out. I actually want to put the conduit somewhere in here. Obviously not take up the spot just right here, so I actually might dig out a little hole and plop that in there. Uh, probably off camera there. But I want to start making the stables for the actual horses, so I'm going to use some bone blocks and maybe a mixture of quartz slabs to kind of symbolize that like almost as like the cages and the stables are made out of like the rib cages of horses, which is pretty gruesome if you think about it, but I think it would look really cool. So I'm going to try it out. I even have some quartz over at the Piglin Barding Farm in the nether, so I'm going to just kind of play around and see how it works. So I'll get back when a couple stables are in place. Alright, so I've built all of the stables here, and I really like the way they kind of turned out. I like the this, especially this part where they're like intersecting the bones. I think that's really cool. Uh, horses are going to have a 2x2 two two area to kind of live in, and that's about it. But uh, I really think it will look cool once all the horses are kind of in here, uh, all moving around and stuff in their little areas. It kind of will make it look a little bit more alive. Uh, however, I don't think I have more than, what? what is this? There's, I think there's 10 cells, 5 on each side. So, I don't know if I have 5... Uh, or 10 horses I probably have much more than that so there's probably going to be some extra horses left over uh, which I guess I'll probably have to just have them kind of walking around I'm going to have kind of like a fence here that I'm going to make probably out of something just to keep the horses in so they don't just wander off because they obviously can't go up but they can go up if they kind of hit a bubble column which I'll probably put a bubble column somewhere out here where this glitched water source is I mean I can easily fix this with relogging but I'll probably actually do it in this exact spot or probably one over where it's in line with that sea lantern. But I'm going to put a bubble column so I can actually bring the horse back up to the surface of the water and actually use the horse if I need to. So that's probably what I'm going to work on, getting all of the horses in. One more thing I forgot to mention, as I'm bringing in each one of these horses, I want to name each one with a different name. So uh, I'm probably going to pull up some sort of random generator because I'm not that creative. Uh, so this first guy's name is probably going to be something like Bone Boney or something. I don't know. I'm going to try and do bone puns or horse puns for each one of these guys just because I think it's going to be funny uh, so this guy's really excited to go in uh, I'll probably name him once he's in here but I just want to show what I'm going to go uh, I'm going to bring this guy in and just like that he'll sink down and I'll probably just kind of destroy this obviously it's not the most efficient way again I'm not going to be using these guys very often and then lock him up he can't escape and I can see him pretty well so I really like the way that's kind of turning out I'm going to get all of these guys in and actually name them all right, so we're back, and I actually finished moving all the horses from up, whoops, oh, from up over here, and from the Skelly Boys building, all the way into the stall. So they're all in place right now, which I gotta say looks pretty cool. I have uh, numerous different guys. I have Bone Saw, Ghost Rider. I got Bone Jangles. I got Jack Skellington. I got Ghost Face over here. I have who is this? I have Dry Bones. I have exoskeleton that's probably one of my favorite names we have he was tasty you know get it because he's got no 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 like meat on him so it was probably never mind napoleon bonaparte you know off the famous everyone's favorite french dictator and then we have uh this guy he's just not named i still need a bone name for that so if you guys have any ideas in the comments let me know uh however i also installed this so i can just write up this and over to here and then from here i can like you know write up this mountain maybe right over there i'll bring it all the way around towards the nether portal so that's pretty cool i actually still have some more skeleton horses up there at the base they're still up here uh just kind of sitting up here i haven't really kind of not too fussed about kind of getting them down into the uh stables because they're they're all right where they are uh, i think it's all right not to kind of push more in there until i build more stables themselves so i'm gonna probably expand that back wall maybe in between episodes and actually fit those guys in there uh so that is pretty much the horse stables all done so we can move on and get to more projects all right, so I'm back here with the horses. I actually want to experiment a little bit with Mr. This Guy. I really like this horse. It's probably my favorite name that I came up with, Exoskeleton. So I'm going to take this guy, and I'm going to ride him up to the surface using the bellable column that we made here. So he just gets launched up to the surface, and then from here we can actually just climb this mountain. We could totally just climb this mountain if we wanted, but just using the bubble column makes it a little bit easier. Now I want to switch to my Frostwalker boots. So now that he's up here, I want to see if this will work. Now have the Frostwalker boots on. I don't know if this will work, but it would be cool if it did. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, man. 
All right, so what if this works? What if I just get going? No, it doesn't. That's so annoying. Oh, that would have been so cool if it worked. All right, well, it looks like we're going to have to bring this guy to spawn through the nether instead because I want to ride this guy into spawn. So I want to go visit some of the shops now uh, and check out some of them that are there. All right, we're here at spawn, and I want to quickly show you guys something that I did over at Matei 7 Spider Shop. It's just up this hill. We're going to have to take the horse up here, which is kind of why I brought it. I really think it's cool to, to kind of explore spawn with the horse here. We even have to do some horse parkour on the mushrooms here. But I want to bring the horse up here and check out the shop. Hi, this is Post Editing Josh, once again, coming to interrupt your daily scheduled video to tell you that my disk storage filled up and this didn't get recorded because I ran out of space. So I just deleted some stuff and re-recorded this bit, so enjoy the rest of the video. I'm actually at Matei 7 String Shop, and I set up a little pop-up shop, and this is 5 diamonds per shulker box of string. So not only are you playing cheaper, because if you were to look in here, 5 diamonds per 1 stack, that's exactly the same price, except I am giving you 2 extra stacks, I'm pretty sure, right? Because 5 stacks, that's 25, so that would be that, because, you know, 5 times 1, that's... 5, but then 5 times 5 for the actual stack, that's 25. Pretty sure my math checks out. Uh, plus you're getting 2 extra stacks of string for pretty much free, plus the shulker box. That is a really a good deal. So 5 diamonds per box. I actually have 5 diamonds already in here to make it seem like I've sold a ton and that it's a hot commodity. And maybe I'll make some sales, uh, some more sales here. These are all my diamonds, however I can definitely make some more sales undercutting Matei 7. So that's just something I made here. Alright, so I'm back at the base here, and I just want to say this is the end of today's episode. Got a lot of work done with the Skelly Boys area down here with the stables just below. Uh, all of the horses are still in here. Even brought back Exoskeleton, as that was the horse that I brought to spawn. So, with everything finished up over there, I am going to end today's video. So... If you liked the video, make sure to leave it a like, and if you really liked it, make sure to subscribe. It is the best way to help me out here on the channel. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more.